Welcome back everyone, and as I said, I'm just stocked up uh, in town and even made my way back up to the exact same spot <laughs> where I left off in the last episode. Um, didn't even go to the inn as I just recognized that I, I just could have slept, slept in there. But whatever, whatever, uh, just for you guys so you don't miss a single second because something could have happened with those guys that I completely messed this up, but I don't now make our way to the passage that's just opened. That's what you usually do in those games, right? There's one passage blocked, now it's open. You go there and check out all this stuff. So, kill some spidey boys. 110 grit, man, you got destroyed. More skeleton guys exploding. Shielding. <laughs> I know that trick. Yeah. I know my Terranigma. Well, at least now. Is there anything? Okay. The black opal was buried in the in the suit of the fireplace. Black opal obtained. There you go. <laughs> Easy game. So probably crawling our way back now. Super easy game. So first, there's a gem acquired. Um, let's see. Let's see. I mean, this wasn't as bad as the secret in the in the town. I have to say because we we know those chimneys from the town already, those fireplaces, and we know we can crawl into them, so that's not that bad. But this crack in the wall, um, that was that was very, very hard to see. By the way, um, this purple liquid is acid. <laughs> it's locked. Um, it's acid, yeah. Um, so we can't go in, uh, into that just yet so maybe we f will find a way to change the asset also lock this tower door okay so nothing here at the moment but maybe later on just have to keep that kitchen place here in mind Maybe same thing will open up. I don't even know if I get experience when I screen transition too fast. Okay, this this didn't seem to. Seemed to hit me, but it did. So well, it was the way we're coming from, right? Yeah. Um, I'm just um, because I didn't really uh, kill that many monsters in the episodes prior to the castle, and I went here and had to grind. Um, I would just um, I would just stay to killing some more. At least until I'm level 19, and then probably stop that again. Guards. Oh, you again? Really? Okay. Give me that one. Ow! That was dumb because now. Now it's reset! Ah, oh, we can do it. We can. We will manage, we can do that. Probably. 
102. Oh, that's... That's a big one. Patience. 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 Poor patience. The music is really not helping. I'm also um, that kind of guy. Then, and when I'm, I like loud music in the uh, in the car. I like hearing music loudly in the car. Tower key. Now we know where to go with this one, huh? Don't we? Um, but when I have to park, I always turn down the music because I can't really concentrate with loud music banging into my ear all the time. So that was very stressful right now um, for me. So let's check out the ice pike. I mean, that's a weird... Made of highly rigid icicles. Okay, is that good for those guys? I haven't really... So that's blood, not fire. Uh, it does way more damage against the, against the spiders. Or if it does against the guards, though. It seems to do less damage against the skeletons. Okay. Let's go up here first and then go to the towers. Turk, come check this out. Wait. Oh, okay. What is this oil can? Maybe it can be uh, turned by kicking it while shoving the wall. Okay. Maybe. Seven. Two, three, seven. Okay. One, five, eight. One. And one, four, six, one. Okay. I could just probably try it out. But let's see first what's in the tower. Maybe there's a hint when. So it's the death date of the um, of the three sons, right? But there hasn't been, or I haven't seen that. It hasn't been an indicator right now. Um, when they actually died. So let's see, maybe we'll find out more in the tower, so I have to go there anyway. And now I don't have to... There you go, level 19, perfect. Good timing. Okay, let's see, first tower on the right. Yeah, it's unlocked. <laughs> Clean. Oh, maybe they're buried in the tower? Can be that can be a thing, right? Oh come on! Really? How much damage? Fifteen, okay. Fifteen is way better. But not not like this.
Rhythm. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the rhythm. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so this is acid place. Okay. Oh, come on. Sometimes I'm, I'm just a little too dumb. So... <laughs> I mean, whatever. Stuff down here, it is Death Potion. Let's get it. There you go. Okay. Ding, ding. Oh. What is this statue? There's something in its mouth. It looks like uh, um, it might bite. Put a hand in it. Hey, what's an arm or two? <laughs> Jerk placed his hand deep in the statue's mouth. Yay! Blue water. Perfect. That's good. So... I do think I know where... Uh, where I can go and find something now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, but we will check out the other tower and see if we can find another, um, another clue or something. Tower key. Ding. matter so how much damage I'm am, am I doing you guys now ah yes yes that's it ah that feels so much better two is just like two or one like single digit damage numbers are just don't feel that satisfying doesn't have to be millions and millions like in modern games <laughs> it just has to be like a a good noticeable two digit number that's good with me that's enough so a cheese cheese strat still works and is super effective god I love that super satisfying I said I, I won't bother killing that many monsters anymore, but now, as I'm like way more buffed, it just feels like Tyranigma um, combat just feels satisfying. Although it's sometimes a little bit clunky, but this is just due to like deep head controls and everything. It's not the and Super Nintendo and whatever, so. But it, it feels, for a Super Nintendo game, it feels super satisfying. Really. You have to uh, probably experience that by yourself, because I can't really explain. Um, but it's really responsive. The only, only annoying thing I would say is that you can't um, get out of animations that easily. And also, um, um, directional changes, but this could be just due to d-pad um are a little bit clunky but on a on a very very high high level so comet is really really like i don't really know which which other super nintendo game has that good comet in it if you know any games with like 
um, like action RPGs or um, on the Super Nintendo or any other of those older consoles. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm very, very curious because I really, really enjoy um, the combat style. Chair Enigma. So let's see what's done here. I'm also already thinking about new series after Terranigma. But uh, I, I, I think for now I will be a one series kind of guy. What's up here? What? Woo! We are high up. Makes me dizzy, Turk. Hey look, the wall of, of the tower at the other side. Yeah. The eye of the dragon on the wall is glowing. That's a jewel for sure. Okay. Great! <laughs> How do I get across the other side? Like some thief somewhere, I'm supposed to jump across roofs? Bingo. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll give you a good shove uh, to get started. Uh, to get started good, dude. don't worry. Yeah, that's a very, very good plan. Ready? Blast off. <laughs> wow. That was anticlimactic. The topaz is fitted in the eye of the serpent carving. Um, topaz. Perfect. Making progress. But it's still there. Let's just check in. Drop down here. Okay. So again, I, I do think I know where the um Where this third one is. Did we explore all the... Um, all the rooms yet? I don't think so, right? Oh, the sewers we didn't because we don't have the... Uh, don't have the code. But I think we... Maybe... Maybe I read the uh, portraits or something. Get info on that. The jewel of one uh, of one eye appears to be missing. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know I can get them all in there, but I want to have that. Hmm. This is down to the sewers. Maybe there's one hint in the... And other, otherwise I would just... I mean, it's just... How many was it? Chamber... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Give me back my children. Enjoy it. I think I do have to go here probably when I... Have the uh, when I have all the jewels inside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonder where I get the numbers from. I mean, the code isn't that complicated, right? So I can just I can just do it, but I just want to see if there's any hint. Not here, but in the uh, here in the chamber. Let's 
since I now can definitely kill those guys. Doesn't seem like it. Can this be pushed? Oh. No. No. Diary. A week. Uh. Hmm. Is there any any hint here somewhere? She said. Very important numbers. There was something with very important numbers in the book, right? Ah! But I don't know where the um, where the uh, corpses or whatever of the queen and the king are. Okay, so let's go to the sewers. Maybe we'll find something down there because we now can go down through the sewers. Because water should be up now. Let's see. Just okay. So I do I have to go outside first to the because there's a, a fountain outside which I couldn't go into. There are stairs up to it, but I couldn't go into it because the acid was in there. So now the fountain is blue. So maybe. The sapphire was submerged where indicated by the statue gem. Turk obtained the sapphire. Okay. So that is just the sapphire in here. Hmm. Okay. So I have three gems now. Um Probably going up again and just try to crack the code. Right? I mean, it's nine possible combinations. Nope. And just go outside here. Right? No, I don't. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Again, short term. So it's not 711. Is it 751? No. 781? No. So let's go pull the numbers through the 1. That's not 714. 716. No. Let's do all of those. Two, three, seven. Okay. Let's go here. Two, five, one, no. Two, eight, one, no. Two, one, one, no. Two, one, four, no. Two, one, six, no. Two, five, one. Two, five, four, no. Two, eight, four. Two at six. There you go. <laughs> That's how you do it. If you can't, if you can't find it, just try. 
Let's try. Probably someone knows where to find those numbers. And I couldn't be bothered right now. So. Um, is... No, Chen Li is more on the, on the side. Yeah. So, <laughs> do remember that I said that I probably couldn't get lost because everything is so ordered, but well. Here I am. And asking myself where to go. So... This opened up. Ruby! So this is the last one. Interesting. So there's actually nothing in the other place. What's here? Nothing. And here? Also nothing. Or is it? Hmm, I can't detect on, on this stuff. Okay. I mean, we have all the... Uh, all the gems now, so... I probably think we need to equip them. So I I could have remembered uh, now anything. I mean, ah, okay, does it for me. Perfect. Let's enjoy. The jewels started moving, as if they possessed a uh, life. Was the scariest shit back then. The first man had clear blue eyes. The second man was an oriental with impressive deep black pupils. The third man had eyes that burned with a passion. The last man had a brown false eye. Sleepy music. I mean, it looks scary, right? And it's not me at all. Sanity crashes down. Makes a big hole, maybe. It does. Okay. <laughs> As you all know, I love me some cliffhanger. So, let's do this. What will be in this hole? I don't know. I don't really remember. Um, all I could remember was the the paintings in the dungeon, but so here we are. Um, let's find out uh, together in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, also, again, comment uh, what is your favorite um, combat mechanics or a game with um, best combat in it uh, for Super Nintendo or whatever. Um, leave a comment for that, and obviously. Subscribe to the channel, would really mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, nothing left to say. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.